Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Ronnie the Nomad here. And <laughs> what's up, what's up guys? Welcome to our beautiful kitchen. My name is Chef Matiko. You know what I'm preparing? Sandwich. sandwich. But this sandwich is made of avocados. Yes. I just avocado sandwich and peanut, but very healthy one. Yeah. Because it's it's for the baby, but that's why we see I've uh, trimmed it. Yes. Yeah, just to you know, to give the baby the easy, soft parts. Yeah, yeah, easier, easier work, to, easier work. Yes. Yeah. So it's a uh, avocado. It's avocado. Sandwich. So guys, I visited uh, Chef Matiko at home. So we are in the kitchen. This is this actually this kitchen might might be very famous kitchen <laughs> because I think a lot of people who have been watching my videos. Yes, they have seen it. They have seen it. Mm. Yeah. So guys, this is our kitchen. Mm. And this is my mom's kitchen. This yes. is where we cook. Yes. Maybe I can give you a, a tour of our kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> a very big kitchen, yeah? yeah? This is where my mom keeps the cups and everything, where we cook. There's a gas there that is... Um, how do we call, we call uh, that? Jiko. A Jiko. Yeah. So it is Chaco. Jiko. Uh, it uses Chaco. Chaco. Yeah. Right there is where my mom keeps dishes. And this also. And you can see the fridge of my mom is over there. It is there. Yeah, that is the fridge. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and of course the vegetables. Yeah. So this is the kitchen of this is our kitchen. Yes. Yeah, this is where we belong because I'm coming live from the village. Yes. And I'm so glad to be with Ronnie here. Yes, this was a a very uh busy day though. Yes, uh, yes. Matiko has been busy. Yeah, let, let me show you what we've been doing. Let me take the sandwich to the baby so that I show you what we've been doing. Yes. Even now, Ronnie came to help me. See yes. oh, and I'm so thankful, Ronnie. Thank you for helping me. I've been always watching you, yeah. ma. Let me let me let me serve the baby so that I can tell people what we've been doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is Jeff Matiko. It's a very nice guy. Very welcoming. Um so while waiting for him, we are taking coffee. This is the coffee. That's the color of coffee. It should be very dark, usually. Hey. Yeah, let's go. Too much coffee. You won't. You won't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, yeah, this, so, this, so Ronnie is taking a lot of coffee. Yeah, very yeah. dark one, very bitter. Yeah, so we are coming live from the village, guys. Um, I don't want to take over the uh, Ronnie's channel because no, no it's only that he's putting on the shoes. Yes. So this is our place. Yeah, it has been raining. It has been raining a lot. So what we've been doing, Ronnie, just t take your channel, okay? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't want to be, you know. Yeah. So you can ask anything that you feel like. Yes. Feel free, like our brother. Yes. Guys, if I've not even told you, please support Ronnie. Support Ronnie, our brother. Let us get him to five k sub subscribers. Five k only. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> just five k, then we will we'll do the others. Yeah. Yes. So, Ronnie, Ronnie came when I was. Uh, First, I had people who were trimming this. The this fence. fence. You see the fence. This natural fence. Yes. Yeah. Even this is um. This is my garden. Our garden. Yes. Okay, my mom's garden. Yes. When I say my. You are yeah. also still. This is uh, my mom's garden. <laughs> Maybe I can give you a brief tour. Because <laughs> I need to show you. Yes. Let me show you. So these are. Somebody told me they are called sour soap. Something like that. Sour soap. Yeah, sour soap. Hey, I like people, the fruit. People, <laughs> people are linguistics. They love English. <laughs> so these ones here have a history because I planted them when I was, I think, ten to eleven years. Eleven years. Yeah. Yes. I, my uncle has a lot of these. So one day I went and took and I said, oh, they are so yummy. You know what I did? I took the seeds. The seeds. I planted them in a nursery. So I have one, there are two, three, two. four. I did another one up. Five, five six, six, seven. I think they are around seven. I pl I planted like ten. Ten. Yeah, there, there was one here, but um, I don't know what happened, guys. But yes. I think <laughs> at, at least they did good because we eat the fruits here. It's but that, that that is not even the story of the day, Ronnie. Yes. Take off. Yes. Take off my channel because okay. one day I want to tell you a story. <laughs> yes. One day, if you know my brother Yamara, yes, he's a YouTuber. Yes. You know? yes. He always touch my hands, like touch. You know, you have to, yeah, not like in a bad way yes that means he supports me a lot yes so one day we were doing a video and he told me i'm gonna help you because i'm used to this yes you know what people were commenting no but i am always taking your channel that's why i don't want to no you are not yeah, taking so much in fact you are helping me yeah. out and i'm also 
I also want my 3,000 subscribers to come to your channel. We take you to 25k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you, you yeah. are the first person to know that I'm 20, 20,000 yeah, subscribers. Yeah, the first person to know. Yeah, you, but, did, you, not, you had not even realized. In the morning, it was less by two. You know, I, I was uh, I was trying to upload a video there. I was 19.9. Yeah, 19.9. Yeah, so Ronnie know, knows that I'm 20k subscribers. I'm always following so up on it. So this is what he's, he's been doing. It. Yeah, we've the, been doing this. Eh? These are termites. Yes. You can see a very big hole there. Yes. Today we've been working on this. Yes. Because they disturb, you know, termites. They eat the timbers. And you see this house, the mama's house. Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, it's a nice house. Yes. Call, call, uh, that is what we have, yeah? Yes. It's a good house. So Simple house. The, termite, mm. the termites eat the timbers because inside the mm. house mm. is a soil like this. Yes. Like this. yes. So the termites use the soil like a living area. Uh, they they are take known, advantage of our, of our house. Yeah, they are known <laughs> to be very dangerous in terms yeah. of uh, foundation. Eh? Yeah, but now they are eating our house, you mm. know, because mm. our house is made of mud. Yes. It's a mud house. Okay. Yeah, at the moment, my mom's house is mud house. Actually, my mom is the one who made the other house for me, yeah. alone. You are the son. Yeah, yeah alone. My yeah. mother did it for me when I was very young. Mm. So I appreciate she's a really hardworking woman. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's so we let's took a, we took the termites out yes. and there is a queen, the mother of the termites. You yes. saw it? Yes, I I'll, very I'll big. put a picture here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two pictures. It's very big. So yeah. we took it out yeah. and um, so that it does not keep on destroying. We had one here, it had gone there. Yeah, so we took one. this one and that one. So okay. that uh, at least uh we keep the place safe. Place, yeah, uh, place safe. So the, the, there's one thing I will, want uh, to ask you right now yes please is you your chef matiko mm -hmm. are those your real names of uh, my, my name is chef no chef. My, no my <laughs> name is Pat. guys i'm sorry <laughs> no. yeah i think i think the sun is good at this side uh, yes this one yes. so mm -hmm. for the yeah for the light mm -hmm. for the lighting because yes. you are using a very big camera my brother <laughs> so you don't you don't want yeah. to yeah the light yeah so my name is matiko and uh, i'm called chef because that is what i did as um my high education, uh, my college studies, I did hospitality management mm -hmm. and then um, I, 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 I did gastronomy mm -hmm. that is, uh, and I trained with uh, one of the best hotels in Kenya. I don't want to mention because I don't want to advertise. It should be, they you should know, give I, you I, that I, gig. Yeah, <laughs> you should give us the gig to advertise your hotel. I don't so, give you the gig, yes. In short, mm -hmm. I studied hospitality management. I wanted to become manager in a certain hotel, mm -hmm. maybe one day in the future. Okay. Then uh, I realized that I love a lot of the kitchen. Yes. You know, when you study the whole thing, mm. there's a place that you love most. There are people who love to, uh, to serve, that is waitress, waiters. Yes. Yes. The people who love front office that are receptionists and all those things. Yes. And uh, there's people who love back office, now us, the chefs. The chefs. Yeah. Mm. So I really love the chefing, mm -hmm. cooking. Yes. And uh, that's why even I started my YouTube channel, actually, I was to teach people how to cook. To and cook. I, I'll still do it. Yes. So I opened my YouTube channel in 2017 mm -hmm. and I called myself Chef Matiko because my my videos were to show people how to cook. If you see my videos back then, mm. they were only food. So that's why I called myself your, Chef Matiko. Your channel, okay, okay. You, you joined YouTube mm. in 2015 without posting anything? 2017. You started yeah. posting in 2017? No, no, I joined 20, no, 2015. I was in high school. In form, that's when you had that. Form account, 3. Yeah. I was in Form 3 oh, okay. in 2016. <laughs> I was in Form 3. Yeah. So when I say Form 3, people who are watching from Kenya will understand. The yes. education system is changing, but yes. in 2015, <laughs> I was in Form 3. Yeah. In a certain school right. around the village. Because I'm raised, born, studied in the village until when I went to further studies Which means Nairobi. we completed at the same time, because I, I did my Form 4 in 2013. Form 4 in 2013. <laughs> 2013. And then came back and did it in 20. 16 which means again yeah, yeah so how was the exam uh 2015 was uh, 2016 yeah uh, 2016 was really tough yeah 2016 <laughs> uh, it was really tough because this this man called magoha magoha yeah Let's but uh we thank god because uh, he's he tried to bring the education system yeah. where it should be. be yeah so okay yes. um to answer your question mm -hmm. that is where i got my name okay yes because i was wondering are you Jeff or Chef Matiko? It's Chef Matiko. Yes. Um, what is your experience in Spain? As you ah, yes. Uh, Spain is a very nice country compared to my experience. Mm -hmm. Because people are lovable, people are amazing, mm -hmm. incredible. Mm -hmm. I think I always tell people who interview me that uh, Spain is 
Africa of Europe. Mm-hmm. Why people are cool? Yes. People are good. Yes. Uh, boy. So people are cool. People are good. Mm. Uh, the only problem that uh, I had is only the the culture shock mm-hmm. or what I can say the weather. Yes. Yeah, somebody's calling. Me. I'll come. I'll, I'll come. Oh. Just one, one minute. One minute. I'm just to akuja to alete. Uh, bring me the phone. Okay, guys. Uh, second part is coming. No, but, uh, no, oh, you know, okay. you just <laughs> okay. free. But, but if you want uh, the second part, you let him deal with the call you, first. You, you, no, 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 no. We we go on with the interview. I'll pick the call later. Oh, okay. So if you want the second part, then well. But if you want to continue your let's, channel, let's continue. Yes. Um, that's your experience in Spain. Eh? Yes. Do you do you see any similarity with Spain and? Okay, you have said that it's, uh, it's Africa of Spain of Europe. Yes, according to me, mm-hmm. the similarity is that um, there's no different between how, how, how we are, like, like it's only the color, mm-hmm. but people are the same, mm-hmm. yeah, it's only that we have different cultures, mm-hmm. but you know, um, what is the similarity that I know, yeah, people are the same, oh, you know, okay. people might think, ah, is black, mm-hmm. maybe, maybe, Pink. is white, maybe, yeah. maybe, but when you go there, mm-hmm. You fit in mm. and you become one people, mm-hmm. and you just feel that you are one people. You, that black, that white, disappear. Uh, yeah. Okay, the relationship of people with people from Africa is it a peaceful country or do you have any problem? He, Spain is a very peaceful country. That's mm. why you see a, a lot of immigrants go there. Mm-hmm. People from Senegal, people from a lot of countries, mm-hmm. and people. Uh, Spain has peop- a lot of blacks mm-hmm. from Senegal, from Cameroon, a lot of countries, and uh, of course people from Morocco. Mm-hmm. So that tells you if you see immigrants coming to your country, that mm-hmm. means your country is peaceful, mm-hmm. because immigrants cannot go to maybe a country I cannot mention mm-hmm. where there is war, where there is. You know, mm-hmm. people are how do racism? Mm-hmm. Yes, so, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, mm-hmm. in Spain, I tell you, maybe they are people, but I've never encountered even one person. Okay. Maybe said, ah, you are a black person. Mm-hmm. You should no. In reality, that is that uh, Spain is a nice country. Okay. You should travel to Spain, bro. I will, and I'll <laughs> I'll, I'll come to your home. <laughs> You're welcome. You okay. Should travel to Spain. What about um? In terms of uh, cost of living as compared to... To Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, cost of living, it's very high, my <laughs> brother. <laughs> it's very high. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's very high because mm-hmm. housing is very expensive, food, mm-hmm. very expensive compared to my country. Okay. You know, it's a first world country mm-hmm. and um, the economy is very different you know, compared to Kenya. Mm-hmm. Even, um, yeah, the food, mm-hmm. expensive. Mm-hmm. Uh, the housing expensive, but what I love about Spain mm-hmm. is that medication is free, free, okay. free, free of charge. That's nice. That's nice. That is something that I love about Spain. That is where Spain kicks a lot of country out mm-hmm. because when you are sick, mm-hmm. you are medicated for free because they only cut, uh, they only t- tax mm-hmm. you and I, I don't know how they tax, but. Um, uh, when you are sick, maybe you have a kidney problem, mm-hmm. cancer, mm-hmm. heart issues, anything to do with medication. So it's free, okay. which makes it uh, really good to people who are living there. And of course, education again, it's free. It's free. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on that lane, um, you know we love food. We love food. <laughs> Jumbo. <laughs> yeah. You know we, you know we love food, yeah. and I would like to always ask that. Uh, the food, food, <laughs> food in that. Uh, yeah, food. With, food if, you, with, if you go to Spain, you won't come back. Yeah. If you love eating. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you the truth because. Because many people do have the. Look at the chicken. It's been drained on. Okay, so yeah. Because yeah, mm-hmm. they don't have that experience that I like. I don't like staying up abroad because of food. The taste of food. Oh, and the, the taste. Hey, and you the know, I'm telling. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. When you come to Spain, you won't go back <laughs> because Spain has a really good food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what we miss maybe is this our vegetables. You know, home. Yes. Vegetables, uh, mm-hmm. our vegetables. Mm-hmm. Maybe our ugali. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you miss ugali a lot because ugali there is different. But anything else is available. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Spain you, you eat well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you go to Spain. <laughs> 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 yeah, guys, you should travel to Spain because uh, if you love eating, mm-hmm. Spain has a really good food. Okay. Um... This okay. I, I would I would like to ask is in a very good way. Mm. You you have a family there from the other part of the country. Yes. 
and I see uh, normally people normally talk of uh, getting a spouse from uh, 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 from a different country is really hard. Would you tell them that it's easy or no, challenging? I, I, you know, we never searched for them mm. or they never searched for us. It's people that you meet. Mm. Is like when you have a girlfriend here. It's how you meet. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nothing hard. It's not nothing. You know. It's how you meet. Mm -hmm. I don't think that maybe looking, searching. Mm -hmm. You know. It's this is love. Love is you just find love. Yeah, that is. And not looking for love. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look for love, it might be really difficult to find. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But finding love is very easy. Mm -hmm. You just dip into a person. Mm -hmm. ah, but what you you fall in love, you become friends, you fall in okay. love, or that love in this uh, first spot, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. So really, I cannot say it's hard mm -hmm. or is you know, because my wife maybe we can do that as uh, how we met your person, mm -hmm. you are your spouse or you are you know girl. Mm -hmm. You just fall in love. Mm -hmm. Maybe you met him in high Nairobi. You yeah. met them anywhere. That's mm -hmm. how people meet mm -hmm. the, these interracial couples. Not that something you plan mm -hmm. or looking for. Okay. Yeah, because if when, when you're looking for for love, mm -hmm. it's uh, really really difficult. You might find a person who don't love, then you start looking. But when you find love, is uh, something else. Yeah, that is yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, with Kami, okay. The first time, there's how did you learn the communication? Since uh, you don't speak Spanish, you yeah, have, uh, yeah. English. My wife, mm. my wife used to teach me maybe one or two words. But mm. when I go to Spain, you know, in Spain they speak Spanish, ninety-nine yeah. percent. That's a, um, so. Yeah. When you are there, mm. COC, they say COC or yes or yes. You have to learn Spanish. So I got to when I arrived there, I never even started mm. maybe looking for a job. These things, mm. I, I went to class. Mm -hmm. Went to class, studied for some, I think, three months, three months, mm -hmm. and then when now that you you are in that country, mm -hmm. living there with those people who are speaking Spanish, mm -hmm. you will definitely learn because they don't speak English, mm -hmm. so it's easier to learn when you are in that community who speak the same language, like mm -hmm. the language that you learn. Mm -hmm. Now that they don't speak, you know, when somebody comes to Kenya and wants to learn uh, maybe Swahili. Mm -hmm. It will be difficult because people speak English, people speak their mother tongue, their idioms. Mm -hmm. And uh, when somebody will go to Tanzania, it can be easier to learn Swahili because a lot of countries speaking, no, uh, the country is speaking uh, in Swahili. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to mean, it was easier for me because everybody there speaks, not everybody, 99% of people speaks in mm -hmm. Spanish. Mm -hmm. Really, I'm not very good at it, but I'm trying, you know. You, you, you're good, you're good yeah. because I've... I can hear you coming in so easily to your I, I, I sp some, Sometimes I speak <laughs> broken Spanish, but uh, yeah. you know, uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. uh, you're a very nice guy, though. Very nice. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Yeah, you're very nice. So, would you advise uh, people to travel to Spain? Yes, even today. If, if you're watching this video today mm -hmm. and you're looking for a country to, in Europe to travel to, mm -hmm. go to Spain. Mm -hmm. it's, a very, it's a very nice country. It has beaches, it has mountains, it has everything. Mm -hmm. So, it is a very nice country, so if you want to go to Spain, please run, run, run. <laughs> yes. But you experience winters, uh, do you have winters and yeah, we have seasons? Yeah, we have seasons. We have winter, spring, summer, autumn. Mm. So I really hate winter because it's a lot of cold. How long does that winter take? I think three months, I guess. Around three there. months of cold uh, weather? Yes, I, around three months, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, um, we don't want to take a lot of time here. Uh, mm. While uh, on traveling, mm. when you're traveling, what are the documents that someone requires actually? Depends with the type of visa because there is a tourist uh, visa, tourism, education, that mm -hmm. is studying, that mm -hmm. is uh, that is health, mm -hmm. there is a, and there is a visiting, visiting mm -hmm. maybe family, family mm -hmm. visa. Mm -hmm. So you have to maybe, I did a video, mm -hmm. but I'll talk about my, my visa, mm -hmm. the family talk, visa, talk because uh, visa. I got married to a Spanish girl, mm -hmm. so I had uh, my... They call it uh, Libre Familia, mm -hmm. your passport, mm -hmm. your, a lot of documents, I can't even remember. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that says you are married, mm -hmm. marriage certificates, mm -hmm. all these things. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe education, the uh, people who go there to study, mm -hmm. they have different types of visas. Mm -hmm. So my visa was family, mm -hmm. and um, I remember Libre Familia is a family book, like mm -hmm. a family book. Have mm -hmm. to, yeah, and that marriage certificate, and of course my passport. Okay. 
could of course you what else the Do you have no fever? no because because in in kenya i think we we are required we are, we, we, we people who are coming to kenya i think they need they need it I don't, i'm not Even very sure going people. out but yeah, unless... going out i think we always have it no mm-hmm. like a vaccine mm-hmm. yes so those, yeah, the document the, yeah, itself yeah so that that is what they required i guess and of course the flights the tickets yeah let's talk about yeah. the ticket <laughs> because you know <laughs> on this video someone else may be interested to know the cost the cost of uh, our the, flight business uh, no, even the economic or the, the business. i don't i don't do business yeah. I'm, not, I'm not yet doing there. business <laughs> i'm not i'm not uh, okay, the economic I, yeah economic I'm, I'm, uh, i just we just took a normal flight mm. and um I think it was around 500 because the season was low. I mm-hmm. went there in February. Mm-hmm. So it depends with the seasons. Mm-hmm. So when the seasons are high, mm-hmm. you pay more money. When the seasons are low, mm-hmm. you pay... So like now you're traveling back, uh, let's say, this S- month. This yes, year. this month. So, so you, you pay a lot? Mm, more or less, not compared to maybe January mm-hmm. over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One way is 500, let's say 500. No, two. Like two, now, round flight, round, yeah, round, yeah. round. I pay round because this time round I, I paid like six hundred for one person or the family. No, no. For one person. So because it carries my insurance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think around six hundred. Mm-hmm. It, it can go even to four hundred, three hundred for round Depends. flight. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go and come, so you yes. pay once. Yeah, but if you are, you are going to stay there, maybe if you so for example you now you are going, you can just take one. Mm-hmm. If you're going to stay there, mm-hmm. but if you're coming back, you have to take two. And I realize one way flight is even expensive compared yeah. to the round flight. Yeah, because um, when I, I, I paid, like now when I came, mm-hmm. paid round way. So mm-hmm. it's like, it was around there, 600. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It can go even to 300 and it can go to 1000. So okay. it depends. Yeah. Okay, as we finish up, this is uh, given a chance, like. Sorry, sorry. Somebody's calling. Yeah. Yeah. Given a chance, and you are given a choice, like. Uh... Boy. Pues, ahora, ahora boy. Okay. Almost done. Yeah. Uh, given a choice, like. Just choose. If you're given a chance to stay in Spain forever, would you accept it? Like, Depends. You know, or Africa, you... choose. Spain or Africa. Yeah. It's, uh... You know, mm. there's something, some things that Africa have, Spain don't have. Yeah. And there are some Spain, things Spain <laughs> that Spain have, have Africa don't <laughs> have. <laughs> yes. So it, it depends mm. actually with uh, that time, maybe mm. the family and everything. It mm. depends with time. Mm. But I always tell, Hamza! Sorry for that. Hamza! Say, dear auntie, go dog. Let's, uh, so. he's, he's so busy, guys. Don't yeah. worry, he's always mm. busy. We are so, done. Uh-huh. so um, I think, what was I saying? That has confused me. So I think that Africa is a very nice weather compared to Europe. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to weather, I, I prefer Africa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Africa is is a good country. And of course, I've told you, as I've told you, mm-hmm. there's some things we have here that.